But if I have this plan, if I have this list of things that I need to accomplish today in order for today to be a win, in order for me to win today, then I know exactly where my focused intention needs to be set. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, ooh, yeah. All right, this is episode 177 of the Sales Wolves podcast. And in this episode, we're going to be real short today, uh, but I want to talk to you about focus and intentionality. Um, we'll mention coasting in there as well, but really it's all about focus and intentionality. And I want you guys to uh, really put yourself in the right headspace as we go into this podcast and really just ask yourself this question today, whatever day this is that you're watching or listening to this podcast, am I focused? Am I resting? Or another way that we would refer to that is, am I at zero? If you think of zero going back to resting, 10 being fully focused and, and effort uh, going in. Are you at zero, meaning that you're resting? Or do you feel like you're in a place right now where you're coasting? So those are the three main questions that I want you to ask yourself. Am I focused with effort? Am I resting or am I at zero or am I in a period of time right now where I'm coasting? And so I want to unpack this a little bit because um, there are times in your day where you obviously need to be focused and there needs to be intentional focus there. So uh, that's going to start with your internal dialogue, the things that you're telling yourself the things that you're aware of when you know that you have things that you have to accomplish in a day uh, in order to be intentionally focused on that thing. What a lot of people do is they find themselves maybe, you know, luckily enough to be focused, but they're so intentional about where their focus is that they become, they become focused on anything that comes into their peripheral, anything that comes on their desk, anything that walks in, any message, any notification, they become very focused on unimportant things or just unintentional about their focus. And so we all know what those days are like. Um, they're called distracted distractions. You become distracted when you become focused on every little thing that comes your way. And so ultimately, if you want to become efficient and effective in the things that you're doing, you have to be intentionally focused. So you have to actually have a plan for your day. You know, they say the best the best way to start your day is having already had finished it. The best way to start your week is already having finished it. The best way to start your month is already having finished it. And that takes planning and preparation on the front end, but it allows you to go into that day, that week, that month, that month with very intentional focus. When we look at uh, unintentional focus, you know, the, the big thing with, with unintentional focus is allowing yourself to be in an environment where distractions take over. And we've all been through those days where we've gotten tons of stuff done. We've done a lot of things. We've spent a lot of time. We felt like we were busy, but did we really accomplish those things that we were intending to accomplish, whether that be for the day or for the week or for the month? And there's certainly no nobility in being busy. There's no nobility at the end of the day to say, man, I just, I was, I was going all day long. Uh, were you going or were you getting things accomplished? Were you going or were you getting things done that were getting you to closer to your goal? Now, when we think about this idea of the word coasting, I think it has a negative connotation for most people. Uh, if you would call somebody else out as coasting, you would probably using be using a negative connotation about what that person's doing. But the reality is coasting is very important. Uh, coasting allows you to rest intentionally. Um, if you think about an ultra marathon runner, the majority of the time that they're running, they are coasting in some way, shape or form, whether that be they're very focused on not using energy in their upper body. They're not 
having a lot of motion. Um, maybe they are on a down slope. And so they're going to use that time to not focus on certain parts of their legs and, and uh, conserve that energy in a certain way. So coasting becomes a very critical part of making it through a, an ultra marathon or a, a longer race. The same is, is true for those that are not uh, doing something physical every day, but are, you know, attaining knowledge and are coaching and selling and whatever that may be. There's a specific time where coasting can be a very good thing for you mentally. Uh, it gives you the appearance of being still on. It gives you the appearance of being still focused, uh, but it allows you to kind of turn off some of those engines that are always running so that you can get back to zero so that you can rest and then that you can go at a full 100 again and be fo focused and intentional on the thing that you're trying to go after. And so the problem is most coasting is done unintentionally. And so if you are a person that in the beginning of this podcast said that you were in a place right now that you feel like you're coasting, is, an in is it intentional or unintentional? I would probably say it's unintentional because most people don't um, have the knowledge or even if they had the knowledge, the capability to force coasting and rest into their schedule. But if it's unintentional, then what is it that's causing you to lose focus? What is it that's causing you um, to get sidetracked, to get distracted? What are those things that are entering into your day um, that are not supporting you and are actually causing you uh, to get away from the main things that you need to be focusing on and the things that you're supposed to be intentional on? What are those things? What's causing you to start focusing or what's causing you to start coasting uh, throughout your day and throughout your week? And if you're in a place right now where you've been coasting for some time, what is it going to take to get you back to focused and intentional? That's really what we're talking about here and where we can make the biggest impact is taking people that feel like they've maybe been coasting through COVID, um, that they've been coasting through this period of, of three and a half, four months now uh, where the world's not doing a lot, so I'm not going to do a lot. Uh, what is it going to take to get you back off of coasting and on to intentional focus? And I think that that's going to start with your internal dialogue, but it's also going to start with a pen and paper and just sitting down and figuring out what do I need to accomplish tomorrow for tomorrow to be a win? Because if I can write that down and if I can wake up tomorrow morning knowing for today to be a win, I have to do A, B, and C. And then anything that's not A, B, and C will only go towards my distractions or go towards my being able to continue to unintentionally coast through life. But if I have this plan, if I have this list of things that I need to accomplish today in order for today to be a win, in order for me to win today, then I know exactly where my focused intention needs to be set. Let's take that a step further and look at for me to win this week, for me to get to Friday uh, evening and look back on this week as a success, as a win, what are those things that have to happen? There might not be as many things that you'd think. It might be two, three, four things that you have to get accomplished this week for it to be a win, but having intentional focus on those things and executing those things at a high level, it may only be two, three, four things, but those things are going to give you the biggest bang for your buck. Those things are going to make the biggest impact on your business. So if we can write those things down, then it becomes just a daily task of getting, getting those things checked off. And once you get those things checked off and not until you get those things checked off, then you can, then can you look at these ideas of intentional coasting and getting back to zero once the things that have been needing to accomplish have been accomplished. And so ultimately, as we started off this podcast, I would ask you, are you focused right now? Focused intentionally? Are you in a period of rest right now or are you coasting? And based on where you are right now, where is your next step for growth? Where is your next step to get to a better version of yourself or get to a better version of the results that you're getting right now? Obviously, if you're in a stage where you're coasting, getting back to focused, intentional, 
is going to be key. But if you find yourself right now in a place where you feel like you're fairly focused and intentional, do you know what those things are every single day that you need to accomplish in order to win the day? And once you figure out what those things are, now it becomes a game. How quickly can you accomplish those things? Can you get those things done by 11 a.m.? Can you get them done by noon? Can you get them done by two? Because again, at the end of the day, it's not about how much you work. It's about how much you get done and how much you get accomplished. And I think a lot of you would be surprised by just how short your workday could be if you were intensely focused on the things that you actually had to get done and went into those things with intentional focus versus just being focused on whatever it is that's right in front of you at that particular time. So if we look at the key to success, if we look at the key to life, it's not about doing more, having more, working more. It's not about more hours, more, more, um, more time. It's about how focused and how intentional are with the hours that we have. And I think that's encouraging for people as well, um, because that's always the biggest excuse, right? Well, if I only had more time, if I only had more time, I would start a podcast. If I only had more time, I would call more people. If I only had more time, I would do this. I would do that. But the reality is we've all got plenty of time. And so if we can just have more focus, if I could just have more focus, if I could just be more intentional with my focus tomorrow, then I could get A, B, C, and D accomplished. Are we doing that? And are we asking ourselves that question throughout the day? The best thing that you could do is every hour, just simply ask yourself, am I focused? Am I at rest or am I coasting? And adjust accordingly. I'm coasting. Okay, great. What do I need to focus my attention on right now for the rest of today to be a win? Okay, great. I'll go do that. Oh, I am focused. Okay, great. What am I focused on? Oh crap. This isn't one of those things that I need to do today for today to be a win. So I'm probably unintentionally focused right now because I'm focused on something that's not intentional towards my goal. And then if I am focused on something intentional towards my goal, then great. What do you need to finish that out? And then what's next on your list of things that you have to accomplish to get closer to your goal. But this idea of using focus, rest and coasting only comes into play once you figure out how to intentionally focus on the things that you need to get done. But if you have all three of these working simultaneously, it's really where the magic happens because that's where life and this idea of balance and this idea of uh, work life balance, this idea of, I don't know, fulfillment really comes into play because you can be intensely focused when you're intentional on the front end. And then you can be intentionally focused on your rest, on your coasting, on your recovery so that you have more energy stored up for the next day for the next task, for the next thing at hand. So guys, with that, this is episode 177 of the Sales Wolves podcast, Focus and Intentional. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow!